Good morning. Good morning. I'm blessed to be the president of the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences and to welcome you all to the commencement of the College of Osteopathic Medicine and the College of Biosciences. It's good to see family and friends of our 274 graduates. Thank you all for being here to share this celebration. Now before we begin, I'd like to observe a tradition here at KCUMB. I'd like to have a moment of silence to honor our troops who are serving in harm's way to defend our freedoms here at home. So a moment of silence. Thank you. Please stand for the posting of the colors and the singing of the national anthem led by the members of the university's very talented choral group, the Osti Opera. Then remain standing for the invocation delivered by Kurt William Schultz, president of the College of Osteopathic Medicine's class of 2014. Thank you for putting us on the path to medicine and for the courage to commit to a career in medicine. Thank you for the challenges that have caused us to grow stronger and become the people we are today. Thank you for the strength to continue forward when it would have been so much easier to just give up. Thank you for the wonderful friends we have met along the way. We give thanks for all the support of our friends and family during this journey. We give thanks that we are here today, together today to celebrate this glorious occasion. Help us to do no harm. Help us to remember why we chose medicine and to keep us strong when we are challenged. Help us to be honest and ethical in all our dealings. 
Help us to serve others with maturity, strength, and compassion. And finally, help us to never be afraid of the art of medicine. Thank you, Kurt. Members of the Board of Trustees, distinguished faculty, graduates, family, and friends, welcome to the commencement ceremony for the College of Osteopathic Medicine and the College of Biosciences. You may all be seated. <clears throat> you know, this is the first time in our 98-year history that we celebrate these graduations as a true university, making this the largest commencement ceremony in our history. In fact, we have nearly 3,000 attendees today to celebrate this graduation. And how about a round of applause for our graduates? Also today, the university will achieve a special milestone when we confer the 10,000th Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine degree. As you're aware, KCUMB is the largest medical school in Missouri, we're the 12th largest medical school in the United States, and we're the second leading producer of physicians for both Missouri and for Kansas. And we have graduates practicing medicine in all 50 states and around the globe. In addition, we have over 250 scientists who we have trained over the years who are practicing their art around the country today. Now I'd like to introduce our board of, of trustees chair, Dr. Marshall Walker. Dr. Walker is a graduate of the class of 1972. Dr. Walker is a retired head and neck surgeon from Wichita, Kansas, and now serves as the director of medical education for Via Christi Hospital. Last year, Dr. Walker served as the president of KCUMB during a period of transition. Dr. Walker, our chair of our board of trustees, will now offer his greetings and congratulations to the class of 2014. Dr. Walker. Thank you, Dr. Hahn. Welcome, all of you, and I'm so happy to be a part of this wonderful occasion. I'd like to introduce other members of the Board of Trustees in attendance this morning. Mr. John Perry, our treasurer, and Mr. Kevin Hicks are seated in the audience. Mr. Perry and Mr. Hicks, will you please stand and be recognized? In addition, uh, Mr. Terry Dunn, former chair of our Board of Trustees, is here today to receive a very special honor. Mr. Dunn, will you please stand? <laughs> Class of 2014, congratulations. On behalf of the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences Board of Trustees, I must say that we are very proud of your accomplishments. You are to be commended not only for your hard work, your perseverance to achieve this goal that you set for yourself long ago, but also for answering the call to dedicate your life to serve, to heal, and to enhance the quality of the life for those you will touch. Each and every degree conferred today represents a noble profession. 
As you leave this place, go with pride in your accomplishments and gratitude for the people and the institution that helped mold you into the professionals you will become. Congratulations and good luck. What a magical day this is. Congratulations. Good morning. My name is Dr. Bruce Steuben, and I'm the provost of the university and the dean of the College of Osteopathic Medicine. It's my honor to introduce our keynote speaker this morning, uh, my good friend who, where are you, good friend? Over there. I've known for a very long time and a colleague, Dr. Barbara Rossley. I've had the privilege of uh, knowing Dr. Barbara Rossley for many years. Actually, we started out as interns together. Um, and I've learned more from this person than almost anybody during my life. I've learned wisdom. Uh, I've learned to take the high ground. And I've learned how to work hard. And I've learned from a great role model. Dr. Rossley has experience in so many fields, including primary care medicine, education, the military, health policy, just to name a few. Uh, Dr. Bross Rossley has been aptly rec recognized as a history maker. Did you know that? As a history maker for her achievements in medicine and in education. She's just amazing. She overcame the adversity and obstacles that our society underwent in the late 60s. Um, that was often presented to women, to minorities who endeavored to become physicians. She earned her undergraduate degree and her, uh, degree and her Master of Arts degrees from the Wayne State University in Detroit, and she received her Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine from the Michigan State University College of Osteopathic Medicine. After running her own private practice for many years, she became a commissioned officer in the United States Naval Reserve, where she served more than a decade. Throughout her career, Dr. Rossley, or as her friends know her as Barbara, has been a dedicated clinical professor, the department chair for family medicine at Michigan State, a preceptor to hundreds of students, a fellow with the Robert Wood Johnson Health Policy Fellow Institute of Medicine, and she serves at the National Academy of Science. In 1993, Dr. Barbara Rossley was the first African-American woman to be appointed as dean of an American medical school where she joined the Ohio University College of Osteopathic Medicine. She now serves as vice president of health, sciences, and medical affairs for the New York Institute of Technology. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce the distinguished lady and my friend, Dr. Barbara Rossley. That was a wonderful introduction, but it, it kind of happens when you've been around a long time. <laughs> okay. Today is a really festive occasion. I would like to thank the Board of Trustees, the administration, faculty, staff, and even you students, but especially Drs. Dubin and Hahn, for inviting me to be your commencement speaker. When you think about being a commencement speaker, you have to kind of decide what are you going to talk about, because this is a really important occasion, and I certainly feel that. So um, I wanted to decide what is it you needed to know, that last thing before you went out and start to, uh, to practice in your professions. What was the most important thing that you hadn't already had? Okay, and I couldn't, I came up with three topics, but I couldn't make up my mind. So I want you to help me. Now, by the way, I can give all three or four of my presentations because I'm prepared. I got them all here. Or you can choose one. So are you ready? You ready to help me, all of you? Okay. My first choice was maybe you needed to have that last lecture about Einstein's theory of rel relativity as a strategic basis for future health workforce planning. That was one. 
And then I had another one, uh, the social, cultural, access, cost, and quality of care implications of genetic analysis as a disease prevention strategy. You, you, okay. Um, then number three uh, is possibly the implications of a diagnosis of G6PD deficiency on the management of diabetes mellitus utilizing hemoglobin A1C. I didn't hit the spot yet? Okay, and then I thought, you know, maybe you were just kind of, at, on this occasion, much more focused on you. And I thought maybe you might want to hear what the future holds for each of you and what our expectations are. But I don't want you to all at once, you get to vote, because I know how good you are at multiple choice questions. <laughs> so A is Einstein. If you want me to talk about Einstein, just raise your hand. <laughs> I want you all to remember who did that. <laughs> and then, of course, if you want me to talk about, what was that next one I had? Uh, Social cultural acts and all of that as it relates to prevention. No, no, no. Okay. And then number three, the implications of G6PD deficiency with, with hemoglobin A1C? No. Okay. So then number four is uh, what the future holds for each of you and, the expecta and our expectations. Oh, I was starting to get concerned <laughs> that you didn't want to hear anything at this point in time. Okay, so here we go. Years ago, you started all out on an educational path that has led you to this auditorium today. You set a goal that only a very few, and I mean a very few, ever are able to achieve. And for most of you, that means becoming an osteopathic physician or certainly becoming a professional in the area of medicine and bioscience. It hasn't always been easy or even fun, but today you have arrived. You have required the knowledge and mastered the skills necessary to become a medical professional. Becoming a physician is not just a career choice, by the way. It is a high calling with awesome responsibilities, but it's also something else. From this day forward, those of you who are receiving your DO degree today will need to understand that being a physician is now an immutable part of who you are and who you will always be. It's very much like your race, ethnicity, or gender. It will be how you think of yourself and how others think of you. Because being a physician not only describes what you will do, but, it, but who you are. No other profession is so honored. Your faculty, mentors, and peers have often reminded you of the awesome responsibilities that the practice of medicine and involvement in the medical system involves. But today, I won't talk about the responsibilities. Instead, today, I'll talk about expectations. This society expects much from its physicians and health professionals because it places a great deal of trust in how you provide what you provide. You already know that your parents will likely refer to you as the, your, their son or daughter, the doctor. Your children will happily re tell their friends that my dad or my mom is a doctor, and at the same time they'll volunteer you for show and tell at school. Your spouse will hear social acquaintances at dinners and parties whispering that he or she is married to a doctor. Your friends will introduce you as, this is my friend, the doctor. Your friends, family members, colleagues, and other individuals in society will also have consistently high expectations of you. These expectations relate directly to your character as much as they relate to your skills and knowledge as a physician or a healthcare professional. 
From this day forward, these expectations will become a part of the fabric of your lives. These expectations will define you. Your friends will see you as a personal reflection of their social status. They expect you to be successful, and they expect free advice and discounted service. Your families, who have shared your aspirations, witnessed your sacrifices, and to whom you owe much, will expect you to be financially and socially successful. Above all else, they will expect you to be happy. But they will also expect you to serve as their personal health advocate. They will expect you to facilitate, expedite, explain, and run interference for them in all health and medical matters. You will become the personal, willing, and unpaid medical navigator an expert consultant for all of their friends and neighbors. Get ready. Your spouses and significant others will be overheard talking about the miracles that you have achieved with your patients because they expect you to perform miracles. It's important that you're aware of these expectations because they're pivotal to your future happiness and success. Your profession and school, your profession and school expect you to be loyal, supportive, involved, and above all, competent. Your colleagues will expect you to be dependable and reliable, committed to the highest quality of care and responsive to their request in a timely manner. In other words, return those emails and phone calls promptly. Your future patients will expect you to listen, observe, promote health and function, relieve pain and suffering, be understanding, and respect them as individuals, irrespective of who they are. They will also expect you to be available whenever they need you, irrespective of what you are doing at the time. Your community will expect you to have integrity, high morals, leadership skills, common sense, excellent communication skills, good judgment, good judgment in all things personal and professional. And finally, they expect you to have empathy, and a caring attitude for all people, regardless of their economic status, regardless of their race, religion, national origin, gender, sexual orientation, type of insurance, or lack thereof. And then there's society in general that has many expectations and assumptions. You will be accept, expected and assumed to be responsible, unbiased, non-judgmental, ethical, a teacher, and a role model. You will be expected to be wise in all things, to be honorable and to be honest to a fault. In other words, you're expected to be professionals. Finally, you will expect it to be committed to the betterment of humankind, an advocate for good causes and for other people. Frequently, that takes the form of a financial donation, so be ready. You enter this profession at the best of times and the worst of times. The future is unavoidable, but more importantly, the future is in your hands. So let me share my personal expectations for each of the graduates. And I call them the four Bs. Be good. Do the best that you can do. And be the absolute best that you can be. Somebody's life might depend on it. Be wise. 
Use your education, but don't abandon common sense. Employ good judgment based on the knowledge and skills that you have attained. Continue to learn because status quo is a formula for mediocrity and nobody here aspires to be the mediocre. Be proud. Osteopathic medicine has succeeded against all odds to contribute something valuable to health care in this country. Each of you must be confident they, that you can make contributions to the health of this nation as osteopathic physicians. And finally, be visionary. Change has been described as the only constant. Nowhere is change more evident than in healthcare. Contribute to change that will make things better for the populations that you serve and the profession that you represent. Four Bs, be good, be wise, be proud, be visionary. Now I'm sure that you'll meet and surpass all of these expectations because your school has chosen you and educated you to be a member of the proud and distinctive profession of osteopathic medicine and has prepared our master's degree candidates in areas that are becoming more and more important to the practice of medicine on a daily basis. You are the future of health care. Enhance, guard, and contribute to the strength of your professions because we all bring important and valuable perspectives to the future. As I conclude, let me leave you with some advice from a famous doctor. In fact, he's one of the most famous doctors in the world. No, I'm not talking about C. Everett Koop or Dr. Carson, not even Dr. DeBakey, not Dr. Spock or Dr. Phil or even Dr. Oz. You know who it is? Dr. Seuss. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head and feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. So be your name, Buxbaum, Bixby, or Bray, or Mordecai, Rodriguez, Van Allen, or O'Shea. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations to the class of 2014. Thank you. Barbara, thank you so much for the insight to our graduates. I'm going to tell folks here a little something. Barbara's sister was here one month ago today. Uh, her sister is Diana Ross and she performed here in Kansas City just this uh, past month. Yep. I'd like to also uh, uh, welcome Dr. Bruce Williams, who's a member of our Board of Trustees as well. Uh, in addition to Mr. Perry and Mr. Hicks, uh, Dr. Williams is with us today, and I, I just ask him to stand for a moment, please. <clears throat> you know, the conferring of an honorary degree is a university's highest tribute. It isn't every year that our Board of Trustees identifies an individual such as the man we honor today. A man who has distinguished himself in the course of business as well as in his personal life. One whose moral compass embodies the university's mission of improving the well-being of the communities we serve. 
Today, I have the distinct pleasure of presenting this honor to Mr. Terrence P. Dunn. Mr. Dunn served on the Board of Trustees for the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences for two terms, and as chair from 2011 to 2013. He serves as the President and Chief Executive Officer of the J.E. Dunn Construction Group and J.E. Dunn is the 12th largest general contractor in the United States. A pillar of the community, his leadership has had a profound impact on this university, as well as greatly influencing the city and the states of Missouri and Kansas by improving the quality of life for all of our communities and all of our citizens. He served as the chair of the Civic Council of Greater Kansas City and a board member and past chairman of the Greater Kansas City Chamber of Commerce. He's also served on the boards of the Boy Scouts of America, Heart of America Council, the National Boy Scout Board, the H&R Block Bank, Kansas City Southern Railroad, the Midwest Research Institute, Rockhurst University, one of our partners, St. Luke's Hospital, another of our partners, and UMB Financial Corporation. He's also the past chairman of the board of the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City, the Heart of America United Way, the Block School of Business Advisory Council, the Crittenden Center, the Learning Exchange, Missouri College Fund, and Rockhurst University. Mr. Dunn and his wife Peggy have four children and ten grandchildren and live in Leewood, Kansas, where Mrs. Dunn has served as the mayor since 1997. Mr. Dunn's leadership contributions philanthropy, and outstanding accomplishments within our community place him among those who are deserving of our university's highest honorary degree, the Doctor of Humane Letters. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to bestow the Doctor of Humane Letters upon a man of vision, a man of leadership, a man of passion, and a true advocate for our community and this university, Mr. Terry Dunn. Be it known, Terrence P. Dunn, having been so recommended by the Board of Trustees, is hereby awarded the degree of Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters for contributions both personal and professional to the betterment of all humanity, conferred with all rights and privileges appertaining thereto by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and by the State of Missouri, I do hereby confer on Terrence P. Dunn the degree Doctorate of Humane Letters. When uh, Mark started describing that guy, I said, oh my God, this guy's old. But in all sincerity, I want to say thank you. I'm extremely honored. But I also say thank you because I recognize that I was a member of a team of trustees who have worked diligently to turn things around. In 2008, on November Day, the Board of Directors had a meeting in the law offices of the Postinelli Law Firm. That day, we were advised that we had significant governance issues. We also had senior leadership issues. That day forward, I believe, brought together a significant bond and a vision and a commitment to make this institution outstanding. Yes, we had challenges. We had issues. And even after that day, we did make mistakes. 
but we came together as leaders. We recognized the fact that we had to do things differently. We immediately addressed our governance issues. We also began recruiting outstanding trustees. We addressed one by one our leadership issues within the school. We began a practice that we were totally committed to be transparent, open, communicating with our constituents, whether it's the students, the alumni, the faculty, or others. Also, during the first couple of years of the turnaround, we were aggressively uh, discussed in media uh, in very rough terms. I want to explain to you that the trustees kept the clarity and focus and commitment to turn this organization around because we all believed at that time that once we got through the issues at hand, this would be a great institution. We would have a passion and a commitment to make it the best medical school in the world. I committed to stay on the board until we made the transition and really had our firm footing. I can say and look you in the eye today, I stepped off the board September of last year. You have outstanding leadership in faculty. You have an outstanding board chair. You have an outstanding board. You have a vision and a commitment to be the best. I feel very proud of my service at KCUMB, but I truly believe the best is yet to come. In all sincerity, and very humbly, I say thank you for my opportunity to serve and for uh, being selected as an honorary doctorate. Good morning. I'm Dr. Doug Rushing, Dean of the College of Biosciences, and I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degrees Master of Arts in Bioethics and Master of Science in Biomedical Sciences. Will the candidates for the degree Master of Arts in Bioethics and Master of Science in Biomedical Sciences please stand? The members of our faculty have evaluated these candidates and endorsed all students as worthy of earning the degree of Master of Arts in Bioethics and Master of Science in Biomedical Sciences, respectively. President Hahn, members of the Board of Trustees, honored guests, on behalf of the faculty, it is with great pleasure and pride that I present to you the graduating class of the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences College of Biosciences. Thank you, Dr. Rushing. By the virtue vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences, I do hereby confer upon you the degree Master of Arts in Bioethics and the degree Master of Science in Biomedical Sciences with all the rights, privileges, and responsible pertaining to your degree. You are hereby recognized as graduates of the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences College of Biosciences. Congratulations. You may be seated. The graduates will receive their diplomas from the Dean, Doug Rushing, and their hoods from Dr. Larry Seegers, the Chair of Pharmacology and Microbiology, and Dr. Diane Carius, the President of the Faculty Senate. Ambassadors, please bring the candidates forward. Jason Arthur Bryce Barnes. Thank you. 
Gerald Joseph Hutless. Jana Nicole Kajawa. Haley Jean Arts. Zachary Thomas Brindle. David Alexander Brennan. Stuart Alex Brill. Brandy Lynette Caldwell. Justin Daniel Durgis. Samuel Palmer Dumontier. Alex Jordan England. Matthew Gabriel Kelling. Robert James Klug. William Lee Cogill. <laughs> Christine Kwan. Miranda. Pham Lee. Matthew Calvin McCullough. Christopher Allen Nungisser. Joseph Paul Pankritz. Sonia Parishaw. Azam Poroya. <clears throat> Rushil Girish Patel. Callie Rose Pittard.
Rebecca Christine Rada. Rebecca Leslie Sabatez. Joel Douglas Sager. Vusala Snyder. Daniel Tyler Sorakalit. Eric Brendan Stanks. Jessica J. Testa. Garrett Neil Tibbetts. Elizabeth Page Von Endy. <laughs> Diane Laura Winter. Benjamin Tyler Young. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to present to you the class of 2014 for the College of Biosciences, Masters of Arts in Bioethics, and Master of Science in Biomedical Sciences. Will the graduates please stand and be recognized. Please be seated. The Kansas City University of Medicine and Bioscience strives to equip future physicians with the skills and knowledge to navigate the complexities and uncertainties that lie ahead. This morning we celebrate 31 graduates who completed two rigorous programs of study that culminates today in the awarding of dual degrees. While completing the degree Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine, 10 candidates have accomplished the Master of Arts in Bioethics through the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences, College of Biosciences, and 21 candidates, the Master of Business Administration and Healthcare Leadership through our partnership with the Rockhurst University. As the candidates receive their diplomas this morning, they will also receive the doctoral hood. The presentation of the doctoral hood is a significant and memorable act in a commencement ceremony. The College of Osteopathic Medical Medicine class of 2014 honored two of their faculty members by selecting them to serve as hooders. They are Dr. G. Michael Johnson, sometimes known as Yoda to his students, and uh, he's the Vice Dean of the College of Osteopathic Medicine and Professor of Internal Medicine, and Dr. Sarah Parrott, Assistant Professor of Family and Community Medicine. Graduates are also given the option of being hooded by a physician who is a family member or mentor. 
Guest hoarders will be identified as the name of the graduate is announced. Will the candidates for the degrees Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine and Master of Arts in Bioethics please stand? The members of our faculty have evaluate, evaluated these candidates and they have endorsed all students as worthy of earning the dual degree Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine and Master of Arts in Bioethics. President Hahn, members of the Board of Trustees, honored guests on behalf of the faculty, it is with great pride that I present to you the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences graduates of the dual degree, Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine and Master of Arts in Bioethics. Thank you, Dr. Dubin. By the virtue vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences and by the State of Missouri, I do hereby confer upon you the dual degree Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine and Master of Arts in Bioethics. With all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to your degree, you're hereby recognized as graduates of the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences, College of Osteopathic Medicine, and College of Biosciences. Congratulations. The graduates will receive their Master of Arts in Bioethics Diploma from Dean Rushing and their Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine Diplomas from Dean Dubin. Ambassadors, please bring the candidates forward. Dr. Anna Victoria Bight, hooded by Dr. Aldous Bight. Dr. Aaron Robert Burkhardt. Dr. Hala Marie Kelsch, hooded by Dr. Robert E. Stevens and Dr. Cynthia Ward. Dr. Amanda K. Kern. Dr. Chelsea Allison Lubert, hooded by Dr. Cynthia Ward. Dr. Hank Thon Pham. <laughs> Dr. Emily Elaine Tilski, hooded by Dr. Rance McLean and Dr. Joshua Cox. Dr. Andrew James Wheely. <laughs> Dr. James Robert 
Williams. Dr. Victoria K. Zibikowski. Will the candidates for the degrees Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine and Master of Business Administration in Healthcare Leadership please stand? The members of our faculty and the faculty of Rockhurst University have evaluated these candidates and endorsed all students as worthy of earning the degrees Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine and Master of Business Administration in Healthcare Leadership. President Hahn, members of the Board of Trustees, honored guests, on behalf of the faculty, it's with great pride that I present to you the Kansas City University of Medicine and Bioscience graduates of the dual degree Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine and the Rockhurst University Master of Business Administration in Healthcare Leadership. Dr. Dubin, again, <clears throat> thank you. By the virtue vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences and by the Board of Trustees of Rockhurst University along with the State of Missouri, I do hereby confer upon you the dual degree Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine and Master of Business Administration in Healthcare Leadership with all rights, privileges, responsibilities pertaining to your degrees. You're hereby recognized as graduates of both the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences as well as Rockhurst University. Congratulations. The graduates will receive their Master of Business Administration diplomas from Dean Cheryl McConnell of the Hellsberg School of Management at Rockhurst University and their Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine diplomas from Provost Dubin. Ambassadors, please bring the candidates forward. Dr. Megan Elizabeth Adams, hooded by Dr. Eduardo Garcia. Dr. Sumit Agarwal, hooded by Dr. Manuj Agarwal and Dr. Linda Adkinson. Dr. Ashley Diane Borgstadt. Hooded by Dr. Dave Pulliam and Dr. Eduardo Garcia. Dr. Angela Lynn Conklin. Hooded by Dr. Scott Avery. Dr. Daniel John Cornelius.
Dr. Amish Bajan Dera, hooded by Dr. Bajan Dera. Dr. Krista Renee Bosham DeWitt, hooded by Dr. Richard McGee and Dr. Monica Bosham Easter. Dr. Aaron Nicole Floyd. Hooded by Dr. Gautam Jadasai and Dr. Rance McLean. Dr. Diane Tai Ting Lee. Hooded by Dr. Tracy Taylor and Dr. Rance McLean. Dr. Justin David Little. Dr. Unkit Malik. Dr. Shane Miles Milieu. <clears throat> Dr. Samantha Ann Potter. Dr. Benjamin Harold Roth. Dr. Evan Joseph Russell, hooded by Dr. Stephen Russell. Dr. Benjamin Matthew Skoke, hooded by Dr. Michael Gerald Skoke and Dr. Rance McLean. Dr. Pamela Jean Taliski, hooded by Dr. Ashley Rose Taliski. Dr. Sarah Francis Vallman. Dr. Joshua Samuel Weir, hooded by Dr. Alex Schneider. Dr. Sarah Elizabeth Welmlinger, 
hooded by Dr. Lori Cooper Wellmlinger. Dr. Brandon Paul Wazinski. Will the candidates for the degree Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine please stand? With joy, I can tell you that the members of our faculty have evaluated these candidates and endorsed all students as worthy of earning the degree Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine. President Hahn, members of the Board of Trustees, honored guests, on behalf of the faculty, it is with great pride that I present to you the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences graduates of the degree Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine. Dr. Dubin, once again, thank you. By the virtue vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences, and by the State of Missouri, I do hereby confer upon you the degree Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to your degrees. You're hereby recognized as graduates of the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences. Congratulations. You may be seated. The graduates will receive their Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine diplomas from Dean Dubin. And they'll be the 10,000th surprise graduate coming across the stage in just a few minutes. Ambassadors, please bring the candidates forward. Dr. Carrie Christine Allison. Dr. Jonathan Ambrose Almeida, hooded by Dr. Michael Johnston and Dr. Michael Robert Coffrin. Dr. John Arthur Anderson. Dr. Sarah Jean Andry, hooded by Dr. James Andry. Dr. Ethan Thomas Engelmeyer, hooded by Dr. Sarah Parrott.
Dr. Elizabeth Kathleen Arneman. Dr. Jason Mark Bailey. Dr. Frederick H. Balch. Dr. Brian Peter Bambera. Dr. Margaret Elizabeth Barnage. Dr. Sunez Beban Hani, hooded by Dr. Robert Stevens and Dr. Richard McGee. Dr. James Craig Benning, hooded by Dr. Timothy Craig Benning. Dr. Eric David Benson. Dr. Kevin Patrick Barris, hooded by Dr. Frank Fitzpatrick and Dr. Ed Friedlander. Dr. Jeffrey David Biberston. Dr. Mark Joseph Bieska II, hooded by Dr. Michael Johnston and Dr. Richard McGee. Dr. Seth Colby Bingman, hooded by Dr. Catherine Cornelius. Dr. Angela Lauren Birdwell, hooded by Dr. Linda Adkinson and Dr. Tracy Taylor. Dr. Danielle Marie Bishop, hooded by Dr. John Daniel McEnroe. Dr. Megan Elizabeth Blay. Dr. Joshua Mark Bowers.
Dr. Ian Pacey Boydston, hooded by Dr. John Boydston. Dr. Daniela Monique Boyer, hooded by Dr. Sarah Parrott and Dr. Deborah Keith. Dr. Stephen Hunter Boyette, hooded by Dr. John Blake Boyette. Dr. Joseph Lewis Boyle, hooded by Dr. Gautam Desai and Dr. Ed Friedlander. Dr. Austin Arland Buck. Do I go first? Dr. Heather Mary Bullard Manbeck, hooded by Dr. Raymond Newman. Dr. Daniel James Burgess. Dr. Daryl Wesley Campbell. Dr. Kelly Ann Carmen. Dr. Rachel Ann Carney. Dr. Randy Michael Chan. Dr. Garima Chavla. Dr. Megan Elizabeth Cherry, hooded by Dr. Stephen Cherry and Dr. Matthew Cherry. Dr. Benjamin Allen Childers. Dr. Stephen Gregory Clark. Dr. Brandon Robert Cole. Dr. Blake Richard Collier.
Dr. Kylie Ray Conroy, hooded by Dr. Gautam Desai and Dr. Michelle Bundren. Dr. John Lee Cook, hooded by Dr. Edward Kamira Mare. Dr. Michael Preston Cooper. Dr. Christopher Todd Kopic. Dr. John David Codero. Dr. William David Cordes. Dr. Matthew Thomas Cullen. Dr. Kerry Kara Faye Curry. Dr. Robert Paul Cusser, hooded by Dr. James Andrew Cusser and Dr. Mark Scarborough. Dr. Kelly Ann Dahlstrom, hooded by Dr. Chelsea Sheeler and Dr. Anthony Olinger. Dr. Robin Ray Davis. Dr. Jamie Lee Decker, hooded by Dr. Kevin Treffer and Dr. Joshua Cox. Dr. McAllister James Davini, hooded by Dr. Thomas Rooney. Dr. Todd Andrew Diebold. Dr. Nita Gersel Dillon, hooded by Dr. Paul Stromsdorfer and Dr. Edward Arguesia.
Dr. Aaron Renee Doan, hooded by Dr. Gautam Desai. Dr. Christine May Domingo, hooded by Dr. Robert Stevens. Dr. Sean Patrick Doran, hooded by Dr. Andrew Illiff and Dr. Angela Sutton. Dr. Ashley Nicole Ducharme. Dr. Eric Joseph Duffy, hooded by Dr. Ed Friedlander. Dr. Drew William Dula. Dr. Christopher Ryan Dunbar. Dr. Christine Ray Duncan, hooded by Dr. Brian Barish. Dr. Andrew David Digert, hooded by Dr. Charles Randall Digert and Dr. John Robert, Di Robert Digert. <laughs> Dr. Joshua Joseph Earl. Hooded by Dr. Jeffrey Joseph Earl. Dr. James Patrick Early, Jr. Dr. Mark Andrew Edgecombe, hooded by Dr. Leslie Paul Edgecombe. Dr. Catherine Marie Ellis, Hooded by Dr. Angela Sutton. <laughs> Dr. Kelston Lynch Ellis. Hooded by Dr. Ransom Asbury Ellis. Dr. Jesse Len Entwistle.
Ladies and gentlemen, Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences is proud to recognize Dr. Dr. Rex L. Fair, Jr. as the 10,000th graduate of the College of Osteopathic Medicine. Dr. Tana Lene Feldman, hooded by Dr. Michael Johnston. <laughs> Dr. David Douglas Fink. Dr. Nathan Michael Fisher. Dr. Jennifer Elizabeth Fitzgerald, hooded by Dr. Robert Anthony Moulton. <clears throat> Dr. Amanda Renee Flory, hooded by Dr. Ronald Dean Flory. Dr. Jeffrey Michael Foster, hooded by Dr. Rance McLean. Dr. Andrew Allen Frayer King, hooded by Dr. Tyrus Frayer King and Dr. Betsy Brab. <laughs> Dr. Daniel Joseph Frick, hooded by Dr. Allen Gleros. Dr. Peter Douglas John Greco, hooded by Dr. Richard McGee. Dr. Jenny Lynn Gillespie, hooded by Dr. Tracy Taylor. Dr. Jonathan Harley Roluski, hooded by Alex by Dr. Alex Schneiro. Dr. Joshua Lowell Gray. Dr. Tamson Ella Grosskreutz, hooded by Dr. Regina Marie Kaufman and Dr. Ed Friedlander.
Dr. Patricia Nora Hammer, hooded by Dr. Sarah Parrott and Dr. Raymond Newman. Dr. Bob Hahn. Dr. Taylor Parker Hansen. Dr. Timothy Craig Harcum. Dr. Christopher Weston Harris. Dr. Jordan Ryan Haskins, hooded by Dr. Eduardo Garcia. Dr. Alan Paul Hager. Dr. Cassandra J. Heiselman, hooded by Dr. Daryl Heiselman and Dr. Richard McGee. Dr. Aaron Neal Heller, hooded by Dr. Megan McGinnis and Dr. James Pike. Dr. Emily Nicole Hieronymus, hooded by Dr. Gautam Desai. Dr. Kara Marie Hessel, hooded by Dr. Anthony Olinger and Dr. Megan McManus. Dr. Ashley Davenport Hill. <laughs> Dr. Tomia Bianca Hines, hooded by Dr. Linda Atkinson. Dr. Ahn T. Ho, hooded by Dr. Linda Atkinson. Dr. Ashley Nicole Hole. Dr. Benjamin Daniel Holland, hooded by Randall Howard Nations.
Dr. Brock David Hollett, hooded by Dr. Michael Johnston. Dr. Marlena Marie Horner, hooded by Dr. Tyler Bray. Dr. Hunter Shu, hooded by Dr. Rance McLean. Dr. Colin Clark Hull, hooded by Dr. Rance McLean. Dr. Aaron Elizabeth Jewell Burks, hooded by Dr. Rance McLean and Dr. Richard McGee. Dr. Joshua Elmer Jost, hooded by Dr. Aaron Jost. Dr. Tabitha Marie Kabala. <laughs> Dr. Ristos Christopher Karanikas. Dr. Sumir Kashup, hooded by Dr. Ramendra Kashup. <laughs> Dr. Justin Alexander Kelly. Dr. William jo Joseph Kinderknecht. <laughs> Dr. Lindsay Marie Kirkpatrick. Dr. Suda Rainey Cody. <laughs> Dr. Sandeep Kola, hooded by Dr. Ramesh Kola. Dr. Blake Michael Kramer, hooded by Dr. Stephen Cherry and Dr. Matthew Cherry. Dr. David Scott Kramer, hooded by Dr. Michael Johnston.
Dr. Stephanie Jean Kwan. Dr. Jennifer Lauren Lambeth, hooded by Dr. Gautam Desai. Dr. Robert David Lane, Jr. Dr. Tom Hugh Lee, hooded by Dr. Deborah Keith. Dr. Leslie Ann Lester. Dr. Jonathan William Lizot, hooded by Dr. Robert Raymond Regal. Dr. Elliot Arno Lospital. Dr. Joseph Victor Loeb, hooded by Dr. James Patrick Landis and Dr. Michael Johnston. Dr. Brandon Scott Machalkow, hooded by Dr. Angela Sutton. Dr. Eric Russell McCrae. Dr. Daniel William Marks, hooded by Dr. Michelle Bundren. Dr. Brian Mikulin Maxfield. Dr. Derek Kelly McCool. Dr. Tucker Charles McCord, hooded by Dr. Alan McCullough. Dr. Angela Marie McLaughlin, hooded by Dr. Eduardo Garcia. Dr. Christine Elizabeth McGee, hooded by Dr. Rance McLean.
<laughs> Dr. Mandy Jo Menard. Dr. Jason Clark Missouri, hooded by Dr. Saranga Dharmaratni. Dr. Nicholas J. Miller. Dr. Brittany Aaron Moeller. <laughs> Dr. Philip Samuel Napolitan. Dr. Tai Tan Nguyen. <laughs> Dr. V. Nguyen, hooded by Dr. Eduardo Garcia and Dr. Lynn Boone. Dr. Whitney Wallace Nichols. Dr. Machi Padowski. Dr. Ronak Amrish Parikh. <laughs> Dr. Ekta Patel. Dr. Nimit Patel. <laughs> Dr. Bao Quan Pham. Dr. Megan Ray Plum, hooded by Dr. Abdubaki Agbas. Dr. Lita Dao Hung, hooded by Dr. Robert Anthony Moulton. Dr. Matthew Robert Pyle. <laughs> Dr. Camila Amira Raman Russell.
Dr. Mustafa Ansari Reyes. Hooded by Dr. Khalid Reyes and Dr. Romana Reyes. Dr. Greg Daniel Rice. Dr. Joshua Scott Richards, hooded by Dr. Rance McLean. Dr. Julia Marie Roberts. Dr. Kurt William Schultz, hooded by Dr. Sarah Parrott and Dr. Diane Carius. Dr. Ryan Peter Schwer. Dr. Samantha Quinn Sherry. Dr. Rachel Lynn Ships. Dr. Nicholas David Schuler. Dr. Amber Nicole Sikorsky. Dr. Scott Michael Bruce Sikorsky, hooded by Dr. Ed Friedlander. Dr. Brendan Patrick Smith. Dr. Christopher Robert Smith. Dr. Kyle Charles Smith. Good job. Dr. Lane Dowling Summers, hooded by Dr. Tracy Taylor. Dr. Sarah Daryl Spiva.
Dr. Jessica Ray Stout. Dr. Nicholas Anthony Sturl. Dr. Christina Carol Strumsness. Dr. Hannah Elizabeth Strong. Dr. Jonathan Isaac Stewart. Dr. Bradley Keith Stuckey, hooded by Dr. Brian Kent Stuckey. Dr. Merlin Ann Sunny, hooded by Dr. Sarah Parrott. Dr. Christopher Charles Sutton, hooded by Dr. Angela Sutton. Dr. Anthony Hamid Tabutabai. Dr. Laura Elizabeth Tate, hooded by Dr. Robert Moulton. Dr. Justin D. Thomas, hooded by Dr. Ed Friedlander. Dr. Vivan Huen Tran, hooded by Dr. Michael Johnston and Dr. Ed Friedlander. Dr. Andrew Lynn Trom, hooded by Dr. Kristen Elizabeth Trom. Dr. Stephen Valkanis. Dr. Stephanie Lorraine Vampola. Dr. Richard Michael Van Trump, hooded by Dr. Diane Carius and Dr. Emily Hillman.
Dr. Minu Marie Varghese. Dr. Angela Michelle Bose. Dr. Omar bin Wahid, hooded by Dr. Shahid Wahid. Dr. Yuxuan Wang. Dr. Megan Elizabeth Warhol, hooded by Dr. Rachel Mergenmeyer and Dr. Nicholas Powers. Dr. Daniel Kenneth Washko, hooded by Dr. William Edward Mayer. Dr. Dustin Jeffrey Wazilik, hooded by Dr. Alex Schneira and Dr. Ed Freelander. <laughs> Dr. Brittany Lee Weber. Hooded by Dr. Jennifer Melick. Dr. Eric Matthew Wessel. Hooded by Dr. Anthony Olinger. Dr. Natalie Elise White, hooded by Dr. Ed Friedlander. Dr. Elizabeth Jean Whitaker. Dr. Patrick Fitzgerald Williams. Dr. Paul Daniel Williams. Dr. Kaylee Beth Wilson, hooded by Dr. Gautam Desai. Dr. Kyle Andrew Wilson.
Dr. Zachary James Wilson. Dr. Stephanie Ann Windish. <laughs> Dr. Ryan Paul Winfrey. Dr. Andrew Michael Wishy, hooded by Dr. Rex Joyce. Dr. Daniel Joseph Wood. Dr. Megan Alyssa Woodsmall. Dr. Jason Philip Zatkoff. Dr. Stacy Marie Zimmerman. <laughs> Dr. Stephen Eric Zenter. Administering the oath to graduates is an honor often reserved for the dean of the College of Osteopathic Medicine. Um, but I'm going to uh, change that tradition a little bit today. Um, I'm going to ask someone who I think has been very special to your class um, and who's been very special to the uh, profession. He joins me in being a fellow in the American College of Osteopathic Internists, but he's probably the only master fellow that I know. And this is a surprise to him, so uh, uh, Dr. Johnson, would you please come forward? <laughs> While we're waiting for Dr. Johnson, I would like to ask all the doctors, our new graduates, and all osteopathic physicians, and all other physicians as well, to please stand and join us in the recitation of our oath. Giving the oath of the osteopathic profession is special. So it's a sacred oath. Carry it, th carry it the rest of your life with you. I would ask that you would raise your right hand and, do, and repeat after me. I do hereby affirm my loyalty to the profession. that I am about to enter. I will be mindful always of great responsibility to preserve the health and the life of my patients, to retain their confidence and respect, 
both as a physician and a friend, who will guard their secrets with scrupulous honor and fidelity. To perform faithfully my professional duties, to employ only those recognized methods of treatment consistent with good judgment and my skill and ability, keeping in mind always nature's laws and the body's inherent capacity for recovery. I will be ever vigilant in aiding to the general welfare of the community. Sustaining its laws and institutions. Not engaging in those practices which, in any way, will bring shame or discredit upon myself or my profession. I will give no drugs for deadly purposes to any person, though it be asked of me. I will endeavor to work in accord with my colleagues in a spirit of progressive cooperation. And never, by word or act, cast imputations upon those or their rightful practices. I will look with respect and esteem upon all those who taught me well my art. To my colleagues, I will be loyal and strive always for his best interest and the interest of students who will come after me. I will be ever alert to further the application of basic truths to the healing arts. and to develop the principles of osteopathy, which were enunciated by Andrew Taylor Still. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the osteopathic physicians of the class of 2014. the oath you just took, you vowed to look with respect and esteem upon all those who have taught you your art. Doctors of the class of 2014, please take a look around you. Everyone else can be seated. This room is filled with all kinds of teachers of all types who have taught you both inside and outside the classroom. Your esteemed faculty, many of whom have taken the same oath, dedicated themselves to teaching and mentoring you along the way and importantly, your parents, husbands, wives, partners, children and friends also served as your teachers as they cheered and supported you every day of this journey. Without them, you wouldn't be standing here today, so I'm gonna ask you, please take a moment to show them how much you appreciate them.
Thanks, moms and dads and friends and family. Please be seated. Service plays a vital role in this university's mission. Our mission to improve the well-being of the communities that we serve is all-encompassing. Among our graduates this morning are 19 who will not only dedicate their lives to serve as physicians, but they will, they will also have committed to serve our nation as officers in the armed forces. This morning, we're privileged to witness the commissioning ceremony for these individuals. This ceremony will be led by Major General Philip Fulpe, one of our nation's outstanding armory officers, who has dedicated his life to the armed forces and the education of military physicians. Major General Volpe's career accomplishments are vast. In fact, if I read them all, we'd be here for another two hours. So we're not going to do that, uh, Phil. Uh, however, I will simply tell you that he served as the command surgeon for the Black Hawk down in Somalia, as well as multiple other crisis situations, some he's sworn to secrecy about, unless maybe you get him drunk. I'm not sure about that. Throughout our nation's uh, recent history, we're honored that he's here and present with us today to participate in our commissioning ceremony. Major General Volpe, will you please come down and come forward to commission these future officers. Well, it, it's an honor and privilege to be here. Dr. Hahn, Dr. Dubin, Thank you so much for uh, allowing me to be part of this special ceremony. Congratulations to all the graduates out there, and I wish you all an exciting and fulfilling career of service to others. And again, thank you for all the family, loved ones, everyone, everyone here for supporting these uh, magnificent people over, the, over many years, many years to get here. Um, I have the privilege and honor of doing a commissioning for uh, those osteopathic physicians who are also going to enter a second profession, that of the armed forces. And I'm very proud to be here to uh, be able to administer um, that oath. Before I do that, a couple of comments, and one is, will all, anyone who has ever served in the military or serves today in the military, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard, please stand. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you all for your service to our great nation. It should be, you know, while many of us go through life taking for granted many of the freedoms and liberties and the way of life that we have, I don't think any of us should ever under forget that that American flag stands and is represented of our nation and our Constitution every single day, and it stands, and our nation stands, because it was on the backs of service members who have served for many decades, over two centuries since the beginning of our nation, served with honor and valor and sacrifice. And so thank you all that have served and everybody. Thank you. A commissioning is two parts. It's an appointment from the President of the United States and it's an oath of office. The oath that these officers are going to take as officers in the Army, Navy, and Air Force is a very special oath. It was, an act, it was the first law of the United States enacted by the very first Congress of the United States on 1 June 1789. And our forefathers and leaders at the time were very keen because oaths taken prior to that in European nations and around the world were to people. Young soldiers and sailors took oaths to their officers Officers took oaths to the general officers. General officers took oaths to presidents and dictators, kings, and so forth. Well, our founding fathers sought that no one would ever take an oath to a person, pledge their loyalty to a person. That this oath is a pledge to the United States of America, and particularly the Constitution, which is the bedrock, bedrock principles of our freedoms and liberties. 
So at this time, I'd like to ask all of the military officers who are being commissioned today to please post and join me on the platform. officers about face did that pretty good it's really hard to do on a carpet we don't usually train in the military to do it on a carpet it's really hard to do in high heels but I have never tried that before okay raise your right hand and repeat after me I state your name having been appointed an officer in the Armed Forces of the United States, in the State Your Service, Army, Navy, or Air Force, do solemnly swear that I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic that I bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will, well and faithfully, discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God about face. Congratulations. Dismissed and please return to your seats. Graduates, please stand one more time.
A round of applause for the graduates, class of 2014. As we close this commencement ceremony, will everyone please rise for the benediction delivered by Dr. Li Da Dao Peng, Vice President of the College of Osteopathic Medicine, Class of 2014, and remain standing for retiring of both the colors and the recessional. We thank the creator of all life that we have gained knowledge and wisdom at the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences. For it is within this knowledge and wisdom that we are able to live life more fully. It is here that we have sought out and found answers to our medical questions so that we can begin our next endeavors with a solid educational foundation. It is here that we have forged relationships so that we can enter into residency with the comfort of a support system and a strong sense of medical community. It is here that we humbled ourselves to this noble profession and opened our minds to faculty and staff who believe in our ability to succeed with integrity, ethics, and courage. And it is here that our dreams of becoming physicians become a reality so we can share our passions and our gifts with the patients that we will soon encounter. May we always express gratitude for all that we have gained here and for all that we now offer the world. We are truly blessed and privileged to now be an integral part of the field of medicine. Thank you.